What's up guys, Rand Razor here with another tech video for you guys today and today we're showing off the XD Design Anti-Theft Tech Bag. So of course without further ado, let's check out this bag, see what's so special about it and give you guys my quick in-depth review. So I've reviewed a number of different tech backpacks over the years and this is definitely something a little bit more unique, simple and offers quite a bit of features even though it looks like a very basic design. Pretty much all the tech bags I've reviewed in the past doesn't really offer any anti-theft protection. They feature a lot of pockets and whatnot to organize all your tech but they're pretty accessible to someone who may be right behind you on a commute to something easily as a small pocket left open for something to fall out. So today I present you guys with the XD Design Anti-Theft Backpack. But anyways, let's dive into this bag and see what's so special about it. So first off, the design of the bag. It's a pretty basic, simple, modern looking design. Nothing too attractive, but nothing too boring either. The front of the backpack here features this coated material that's fairly water and weather resistant. In addition to that, a reflected strip right on the center. And it's kind of obvious, there are zero pockets outside on the exterior part of the bag here. We have the XD Design logo on the right side here, as well as more reflective material on the top corner here. On the back side of the backpack here, we have a large mesh padded back panel here that allows breathability and of course makes it comfortable to carry your bag around. The top panel is attached to these shoulder straps here and is reinforced with this very nice what I like to call seat belt material as it almost feels like, so it's pretty durable and shouldn't rip on you. The shoulder straps also feature this mesh material on the back side here and they are also adjustable in addition to more reflective trim on the front part here. A couple other features of this bag, the only exterior pockets that are actually available on the outside are on the back side here and because it's on the back side the only way to access them is actually to take the backpack off so you don't have to worry about people getting into your bag. So take a closer look, there's one large exterior pocket here right in this bottom panel as well as two side pockets here, a great spot to store your wallet or something. And one cool feature about this bag is that there's actually a built-in USB cable on the inside part here, where you can throw in an external battery, attach it to this USB port here, and charge your devices on the inside. One feature I think I missed earlier in this video is a strap here, and this is actually designed for a luggage roller. So for those of you who have luggage rollers with that metal handle that sticks up, you can actually slide your bag in this so it doesn't fall out and make it easier to carry your bag along with the, your uh, luggage roller. So for those who are wondering, how do you actually get inside this bag? Well, there's actually a zipper hidden right underneath this large padded material that's on the outside of the bag here. So it's very difficult to people to actually gain access into your bag without pretty much having to remove it. And if they do try, you can certainly feel it as they try to wiggle their way around this padding here. The zippers on this bag are YKK zippers, so you don't have to worry about them breaking or anything like that. It says it's a pretty reputable brand, but anyways, let's dive into the inside of this bag. So here's a look at the interior of the bag here. Now we'll make a future video on a what's in my tech backpack video with this bag very soon. So stay tuned for that. But I wanna show you guys what these pockets and stuff look like without having anything in them. So first off, you do have a laptop compartment that's very well padded in addition to a tablet compartment for an iPad or something along those lines. And something I've never seen in a tech bag is actually straps to hold your laptop and your tablet in place. And the cool thing about this is even if someone gets into your bag, they're gonna have a pretty rough time trying to take your laptop or iPad out because you have these straps in place. So it's a pretty cool idea to have these here. And again, you don't have to use these, but they're there if you need them. Anyways, check out the rest of the bag here. As you guys see, it's just a single large compartment. There's no extra compartments like some other bags are viewed. So everything that you have is pretty much in one main compartment in one place so you can keep track of it. The back part of this backpack here where your laptop and stuff sits can be detached so it can lay flat, which is a pretty cool feature. You just undo these buttons here as well as the Velcro. So take a look at the front part of the backpack here. This is where you're gonna store your little things, but you do have a zippered pouch on the top here, four pen holders, as well as a padded pouch right behind it. So a great spot to store your calculators, pens, pencils, things like that. And on the bottom part here, you have two large padded pockets, one smaller than the other. So again, another great spot to store your chargers or anything you kind of want to keep from uh, flopping around. And of course, in between these pockets, as well as the laptop compartment here, you do have a lot of space to hold a few books like textbooks, binders, or notebooks. And for those who are wondering what this wire is, this is your USB cable. So this is where you would attach your external battery on the outside of the backpack here and attach this to something you want to charge on the inside. And it's hard to tell, but there is one more little pocket on the side here. It's just a really small sleeve, so a great spot to store maybe cables. And I just realized there's actually one more pocket on the inside here. The zipper right here pulls down and you actually have another, kind of like a hidden pocket I want to call it, uh, right here to store more little things. 
And I think that pretty much sums up the interior pockets of this bag. Here's a quick look at what the backpack looks like on me. It's a pretty comfortable design. The mesh panels do really big, make a, a big difference in terms of the comfort of your shoulders as well as your back there. Um, but obviously if you start packing heavy things in this, you're definitely gonna start feeling it. Overall guys, I'm pretty impressed with the XD Design Anti-Theft Backpack. I couldn't believe it at first, but this bag is really designed to be an anti-theft bag. It doesn't have any exposed pockets to be easily accessible with, except for the ones that are on the back of the backpack, which is generally right on your back. And the only way to get access into this bag is through the hidden zipper behind the exterior padding. Aside from the anti-theft features, as a textile bag, it's a pretty nice bag. It looks like a very modern, simple design. Offers a very unique and cool recharging feature where you can throw your external battery on the outside of the bag and charge your stuff on the inside. And in the end, it's a very well-designed quality tech bag that deters thieves. In terms of any cons or things I don't like about this bag, the only thing I could say is it's not a very big tech backpack. Um, the biggest one I reviewed was the Thule 32 liter backpack, which is a pretty nice bag to hold not just your tech accessories, but large items like uh, scarves, mitts and hats in winter you wanna shove in your backpack, which I'm not saying this can't do, but it doesn't have a very large compartment for large items. In conclusion guys, for those of you looking for an anti-theft textile backpack, you definitely can't go wrong with the XD Design Anti-Theft Backpack. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video and as always, I have to thank XD Design for shooting this out for review. Hit that like button as well as helps me out and I'll see you on the next video.